good morning all of you good morning sir good afternoon sir good afternoon sir good afternoon we have uh, started the chapter of volume and surface area and uh, i think sir we have to do question number 3 question 3 yes we have done that question number 2 question 3 Okay, a rect solid rectangular piece of iron measures one point zero five. Rectangular piece of iron. I I told you to do this question yourself in the last class. Question number three. Exercise twenty A. Question number four. I hope you all have done question three. Question four is uh, same as question three. So if you have not done question three, you will do question three yourself. It is same as question four. We are discussing question four here in the class. The area of a courtyard is three Three thousand seven hundred fifty meters square. Area of a courtyard is given. Area equals to three seven five zero meters square. Find the cost of covering it with a gravel with gravel to a height or of one centimeter. The height of the gravel should be one centimeter. We have to cover it with. <coughs> <laughs> you have to do gravel on the courtyard if the gravel cost rupees 6.40 per cubic meter okay that means the cost of 1 meter cube is rupees 6.40 we have to find the total cost that will be required to cover the whole courtyard so that means we will find the volume okay the cost the rate at which uh, the courtyard is uh, the the payment is to be done is rupees 6.40 per meter cube meter cube is unit of volume so that means you will first find the volume of the total volume of uh, the courtyard volume is equals to area into height i have always made you write down this this formula of volume volume is equal to area into height but here in this case the height is in centimeters you will write it in meters 0.01 meters divide by 100 so now the volume will be 3750 into 0.01 find the product this is 37.5 meter cube 37.5 meter cube this is the total volume <coughs> okay now the rate is 6.40 per meter cube so the total cost of graveling is equal to volume multiplied by rate 6.40 find the product and tell the answer Thirty-seven point five multiplied by six point four. Find the product. Say two forty. Two forty. Yes, sir. Two forty. Very good. Start doing question five, all of you. I'm giving you two minutes to try question number five. 
read the question yourself try to do it find the answer this is rupees 240 question number 4 the answer is 240 rupees start doing question 5 post your answers of question 4 and 5 both in the group Is there answers all of you? Yes, done. All of you. Question five. Uh, doing. Sir, my answer is sir. I am not able to find this. What? Sir, after finding volume, what we have to do in question five? Question five: How many persons can be accommodated in a hall of length sixteen, breadth twelve point five, and height four point five meter? Assuming that three point six meter cube of air is required for each person, you will first find the volume of the hall. And one person requires three point six meter cube space in the that means the volume space in the hall for one person it is three point six meter cube required. So how many persons you can accommodate for that? You will divide the volume of the hall by the volume of total. Uh, sorry, by the volume of one person you will get the. Total number of persons that can be accommodated in the hall. Okay, find the volume of the hall and divide it by the volume of each person. Three point six. Doing it or not? Sir, done. Very good. Post your answer in the group. Sir, done.
very good ranjali and ashish the so total how many people 350 persons can be sorry 250 persons can be accommodated in the room okay others please send your answer and your answer everyone <laughs> let's start the next one Question number six. A cardboard box is one point two meter long, seventy two centimeter wide, and fifty four centimeter high. How many bars of soap can be put into it, each measuring six centimeter by four point five centimeter by four centimeters? There is a cardboard box. Okay. the dimensions of the box are given and the dimensions of the soaps that we have to keep inside the box that are also given okay dimensions of the soap each soap so how many soaps you can keep inside the box a similar kind of question jaise abhi humne question 5 kiya you will find out the volume of the cardboard box and divide the volume of cardboard box by the volume of each soap okay so first of all volume of cardboard box is equal to 1.2 let's change it in centimeters because the other dimensions are in centimeters so 120 into 72 length into breadth into height this is the volume into 52 this is the volume in centimeter cube of a cardboard box i am not multiplying there is no need to multiply here i will tell you why now the volume of each bar of soap volume of each bar of soap Is equal to six into four point five into four. This is the volume of each bar of soap. Number of soap bars that can be kept in the cardboard box. How many bars we can keep? How will you find out? You will divide the volume of box. That means the cardboard box. By the volume of soap bar, each soap bar. Okay, <clears throat> getting the concept, everyone. Yes, sir. So one twenty into seventy two into fifty two. Correct dimensions one seventy fifty four. Hey, you. This is fifty four. The last one. One twenty into seventy two into fifty four. Okay. Fifty four centimeters. Right. <clears throat> six into four point five into four divided by six. Into four point five into four. Divide six four the twenty four. Cut over. You will get five here. 
and 4.5 you can remove the decimal and put a 10 <coughs> in the numerator now you can divide by 9 5 and here if you divide by 9 you get 6 5 and 5 so 72 into 60 6 2 is a 12 6 7 is a 42 43 4 3 2 0 bars we can keep inside one cardboard box 4320 the simplification we have to do now you uh, got it why i have not multiplied and found the volume exact value of volume many multiplication kyun nahi kiya tha? have you all understood for the reason because ultimately we have to do simplification only so there is no need of multiplication in the starting got it all of you yes sir yes very good Question number seven. The size of a matchbox is 4 cm by 2.5 cm by 1.5 cm. What is the volume of a packet containing 144 matchboxes? Okay. How many such packets can be placed in a carton of 1.5 meter carton of size 1.5 meters by 84 centimeters by 60 centimeters so the size of each match box is given all of you i'm guiding you how to do it you all will try yourself one match box the size of each match box is given you will now uh, there are 144 match boxes that you can keep inside one packet okay so that means uh, you will multiply 144 by the volume of each match box so you will get the total volume of each packet of match box first thing secondly you have to find out what uh, sorry how many packets can be placed in a carton of 1.5 meter by 84 centimeter by 60 centimeter. That means length, breadth, and size, height. So this is the volume of one carton of matchbox. Okay. So how many packets you can keep in one carton? This you have to find out. So you will divide the volume of carton by the volume of each packet. Each packet ka volume on the first part mein nikala tha. So first find out the volume of each packet. How will you find? Multiply the volume of matchbox, each matchbox by 144, you will get the volume of each packet. And then divide the volume of carton by the volume of each packet. Start doing it. Do two things you have to do in the question. Okay. Start doing. <coughs> and post your answer after doing the question.
Yes. What have you done? Sir, doing. Please be forward. But okay. <clears throat> Keep on doing your question. I am also doing it on the board so that you all can check your answer. Volume of each match box. Is equal to four into two point five into one point five. Five into three fifteen. So we are total of fifteen. Nikal fifteen centimeter cube. Right. Now volume of each packet of match boxes. One packet can have one forty-four match bo match boxes. So total volume of each packet will be fifteen into one forty-four. I am not finding the product because we have to do simplification later on in the question. So this is the answer of first part. So we have to find because they they have asked what is the volume of each packet. So you multiply one forty-four into fifteen. Thirty into seventy-two. Seven to the three to the six. Two one six zero centimeter cube. Right. <coughs> This is the volume of each packet of uh, match boxes. Now, how many such packets can be placed in a carton? The volume of carton. Change it to centimeter. One fifty into eighty four into sixty. This is the volume of each carton. Number of packets. That we can keep in each carton is equal to volume of carton divided by volume of each packet. Ashish completed the question. Ashish, have you completed volume of carton divided by volume of each packet? Ashish, data. Yes, sir. Completed the question. Yes, sir. Very good. What is the answer? Post it in the group. Sir, I have sent. Okay. Okay, very good. We will just check. Ranjali and Raj Nandini, have you both also done? One fifty yes, into eighty-four into sixty. Post the answers in the group. Divided by two one six zero. So divide and find the answer. आंसर इज थ्री फिफ्टी अकॉर्डिंग टू मी आशीष बेटा तुम्हारा आंसर कुछ ज्यादा आ रहा है इट शुड बी थ्री फिफ्टी आई थिंक जीरो यहां से कट कर लो सिक्स से कट करिए टू वन सिक्स को यू गेट Thirty-six divided by three, twelve divided by three five, twelve sevens are eighty-four. So I have ten. Bata hai. 
So five into seven into ten is three fifty. Three fifty packets we can keep inside one carton. Actually, some mistake is there in calculation part. Correct it. Okay, so check it. Others also you can post your answer. <clears throat> Question number eight. <clears throat> How many planks of size two meter by two fifty sorry twenty five centimeters by eight centimeter? can be prepared from a wooden block of 5 meter long 70 cm broad and 32 cm thick assuming that there is no wastage so there is a wooden block you have to make wooden planks from with the help of this wooden block you have to cut out these wooden planks so you will to find how many wooden planks you can make with this block you will divide the volume of the block by the volume of each plank do it all of you question 8 again similar concept same concept in fact not similar even same So divide the volume of each block wooden block by the volume of each plank you will get number of planks that we can cut from the wooden block start doing Your answer of question eight, all of you.
So sad. Ashish, you are doing the questions in very short. You're not writing any statements or anything. Hmm? Okay. Write down the statements also properly. Okay, sir. <clears throat> Good morning, sir. Good afternoon, sir. <laughs> 